Hello guys, today I will introduce you a hacking method used by hackers which is known as man in the middle attack. I will introduce this term in very short and easy way because I know theory is always boring whether it is in classroom or in your mobile screen. So, guys let's know the basic concept of man in the middle attack and know that how does it works. What is man in the middle attack? A man in the middle attack is a type of cyber attack where a hacker or an intruder inserts himself as into a conversation or data transferring between two parties that is client and a server. Either to eavesdrop or to impersonate one of the parties, making it appear as if a normal exchange of information is underway. Now after establishing himself in between the connection he can even inject false information. Let me explain this through an example, suppose if you are sending a courier to your friend via speed post but at the post office if a worker opens the courier and exchange it with another item or even he can additionally insert any undesired items inside the courier package, that will be delivered to your friend. Like that, a hacker can perform the man in the middle attack on your device without letting you know. Man in the middle attack is further divided into seven categories that are as follows. Number 1 IP spoofing, 2 DNS spoofing, 3 HTTPS spoofing, 4 SSL hijacking, 5 Wi-Fi eavesdropping, 6 email hijacking and number 7 stealing browser cookies. Let's have a quick view on types of man in the middle attacks. IP spoofing is the creation of internet protocol packets with a false source IP address for the purpose of impersonating another computing system. IP spoofing is a technique often used by hackers to launch DDoS attacks and man-in-the-middle attacks against targeted devices. DNS spoofing is an attack in which altered DNS records are used to redirect online traffic to a fraudulent website that resembles its intended destination. HTTPS websites can be spoofed. But hackers can create websites whose domains look very similar to that of the targeted website. HTTPS spoofing, also known as homograph attacks, replace characters in the targeted site domain with other non-ASCII characters that are very similar in appearance. The attack exploits a feature called Punicode, a standard that enables the registration of host names that contain non-ASCII characters. SSL hijacking or SSL stripping is an attack used to circumvent the security enforced by SSL certificates on HTTPS enabled websites. In other words, SSL spoofing is a technique that downgrades your connection from secure HTTPS to insecure HTTP and exposes you to eavesdropping and data manipulation. Email hijacking, a common menace uses some of the techniques like email spoofing, social engineering tools or inserting viruses in a user computer. In this process an email is sent by a spammer from a known domain misguiding the receiver to open the mail, as it is from a known source. These mails usually have suspicious links, doubtful content, requests to transfer money, etc. Wi-Fi eavesdropping is one of the most common methods hackers use to compromise your private data while you are connected to a public Wi-Fi hotspot if you use a public Wi-Fi to do that. You can easily get hacked. Cyber criminals thrive on the fact that people connect to public Wi-Fi without thinking or taking the necessary precautions. A HTTP browser cookie is a small piece of data sent from a website and stored on the user's computer by the user's web browser while the user is browsing. Cookies were designed to be a reliable mechanism for websites to remember stateful information or to record the user's browsing activity. These cookies are encrypted so that it is harder for people in the middle that is between the client and the server to steal sensitive data. But advanced hackers can extract the encrypted data and know all your private informations. How to protect yourself against man-in-the-middle attack? Never connect to public Wi-Fi routers directly. If possible install and use a VPN because a VPN encrypts your internet connection on public hotspots to protect the private data you send and receive while using public Wi-Fi, like passwords or credit card information. Secure your home Wi-Fi network and change password regularly. Don't click on malicious links or unknown emails. Do not download pirated software or any pirated content.
Only download contents from trusted websites. Make sure that the websites you visit have HTTPS in front of the URL. So guys, that's it for today. Hope you learned something new today. Goodbye and meet you again in next video.